896, 984. How many are there? Where do they end? My father told me about big numbers with wicked sounding names, followed by more zeros than anyone could ever write. He said how there's no biggest number, you can always add one. Suddenly, everything feels a lot bigger, except for me. Night after night, I'd look at the stars. But what are they? And what keeps them from falling on our heads? For my father, they weren't much more than lights in the sky, but he encouraged me to explore further. I asked our pharmacist. He is old and wise, but the stars were as mysterious to him as they were to me. A kid from the block? Well, let's just say he wasn't too fond of questions, answers, or me. As for my teacher, if the stars weren't in the curriculum, it was as if they didn't exist. Perhaps there's really nothing more to know. The stars might not hold any exciting secrets after all. Maybe they float above us just so we could enjoy their beauty. Luckily, my mother wasn't as ready to give up. She took me to the place where people pursue answers. I asked for a book on stars. I also learned the value of asking precise questions. Turns out there's more to know, much more. Our sun is also a star, not even the brightest, nor the biggest, just the closest. While it is important to us, it's hardly as unique as we'd like to think. Across the sea of space, there might be worlds attending other stars. While some might be similar to ours, most are vastly different. Who lives on these worlds? And are they, at this very moment, thinking about us? A mere twinkle of light in their skies. I need to know more. Suddenly, everything feels a lot bigger, except for me. There must be thousands of them. Twinkle, twinkle, great big star. Astronomers know just what you are. The, the self-same same stuff, stuff in, in space, space between. between. It's atoms rare and quite unseen. Rapidly approaching reality is the dream of space travel. Flight to other planets, once in the realm of science fiction, is now within our grasp. Someday, man will venture beyond this planetary system, through a dark, illimitable ocean, to the planets of other stars. We began as wanderers, and we are wanderers still. Millions of worlds to visit.
We are drifting in a great ocean of space and time. In that ocean, the events that shape the future are working themselves out. The roots of the present lie buried in the past. There are more stars in the universe than there are grains of sand on all the beaches of the planet Earth. The cosmos is rich beyond measure with billions upon billions of stars. The cosmos is also within us. The nitrogen in our DNA, the calcium in our teeth, the iron in our blood, everything we are made of was forged in the interiors of collapsing stars. We are made of star stuff. We are a way for the cosmos to know itself. Star stuff, contemplating the stars. Think of the possibilities. Is there something more? 